good morning students in the last class we discussed about some flat fibers that are the two cotton and jute all right so now when that in that uh, part i explained you how yarns are obtained from spinning method now the after obtaining yarns yarns are used in order to obtain fabric there are various methods but the two main methods that we can we have in our lesson or waving and knitting what is waving you might have seen in activity 2 all right see waving is the method in which yarns are arranged uh, in uh, two sets of yarns are arranged together to make a fabric it is called as waving i repeat waving is a process in which two sets of yarns are arranged to obtain fabric two sets of yarns are arranged in order to obtain fabric is called as a waving there is one activity it is given how to uh, in order to understand what is uh, how it will be waving just you can read uh, by yourself now this waving is done on looms looms may be hand operated or power operated you can see this picture right this is hand operated loom waving of fabric is done on looms the looms are either power operated or hand operated the picture what you are saying is the hand operated okay come to the next method that is knitting have you observed how sweaters are knitted or mufflers are knitted okay here in the process of knitting only single yarn is used in order to make a piece of fabric have you ever pulled out a uh, yarn from the torn piece of socks what happens as you pull out only single yarn gets pulled out continuously as the fabric gets unraveled socks and many other clothing items are knitted fabrics okay so the two methods of obtaining fabrics are waving and knitting i hope you followed both waving and knitting are the use uh, are the two process used in order to obtain various kinds of fabric these fabrics are used for variety of clothing next comes history of clothing material have you wondered or have you uh, searched what the people ancient people used to wear it appears that in those uh, times people used bark and big leaves of trees in order to cover themselves even animal furs a okay, case skin of animals all right were used after people began to settle on agricultural communities they were able to wave the twigs as well as uh, grass into mats and baskets even animal fleece and hairs were used in order to obtain long strands these were woven into fabrics the early indians wore fabrics made out of cotton that grew in the regions near the river ganga okay early indians used to or wore fabrics made out of cotton that they grew in the regions near river ganga flax is also another uh, kind of plant that gives a natural fiber in ancient egypt cotton as well as flax were cultivated near river nile flax as well as cotton were cultivated uh, near uh, nile and were used for making fabrics as you know in those days stitching was not known people, uh, people simply dropped the various fabrics okay various fabrics here you have the knitting uh, picture 
all right ha so the stitching was not so much known as a result of that simply dropped the various uh, fabrics around their bodies to cover themselves many different ways of trapping fabrics all right have you observed these pictures i hope you got how was the ancient times clothes was used all right with the invention of saving needle people started stitching fabrics to make clothes stitched clothes have gone through wide variety of variation all right if you go to any malls if you stand you can observe various kinds of people at the various ways of wearing their clothes right nowadays it looks like the whatever the pictures you are seeing okay that kind of fabric so is that kind of clothes also you can observe all right <laughs> now stitched clothes have gone through many variations since the invention but it is not amazing even today sari as well as dhoti right they use it as an unstitched piece of fabric just as there is a large variety in the food throughout our india a large variety exists also in fabrics according to the clothing items along with that you move from kashmir to kanyakumari this climate changes climatic condition is also very important according to that also the variation in the clothing we can see all right now to conclude see in order to obtain uh, fabric we need fibers once the fiber is obtained it is drawn and drawn, drawn into it is twisted and drawn into yarn uh, right this is the method of obtaining yarn once the yarn is obtained it is possible to weave also it is possible to knit also all right move to the exercise so in the first uh, exercise question that is exercise first question is that classify the following fibers as natural or synthetic so the fabrics that are given are nylon wool cotton silk polyester jute so nylon polyester or synthetic uh, fiber what is that synthetic fibers and wool cotton silk jute are natural fibers question is that classify the following into natural as well as synthetic fibers so here nylon as well as polyester are synthetic fibers whereas other four that is cotton silk wool jute cotton silk jute as well as wool are example for natural fibers now state whether the following statements are true or false first one is that yarn is made from fibers yarn is made from fibers here yarn is made from fibers it is true spinning is a process of making fiber spinning is the process of making fiber it is false why spinning is the process of obtaining yarn from fibers it is not to obtain the fiber right jute is the outer covering of coconut no the process of removing seed from cotton is called as ginning yes you have the picture i think here 
all right uh, the process of removing seed from the cotton is called as ginning waving of yarn makes a piece of fabric true silk fiber is obtained from the stem of plant no it is obtained from the cocoon of silk worm all right next polyester is a natural fiber no it is artificial fiber now come to the next main okay there you have fill in the blanks plant fibers are obtained from cotton and jute animal fibers are dash and dash animal fibers are dash and dash it is given you can give wool and silk animal fibers example okay wool and silk next from which part of the plant cotton and jute are obtained as i told you uh, in the cotton uh, the cotton fruit when it is matured it burst open so as a result of that it is from the fu- fruit part of the plant whereas jute it is from the stem of the plant name the two items that are made from coconut fiber so you can give that example right what uh, you can give as example that to give as two items made out of cotton fiber uh, sorry coconut fiber that are mats bags right rope you might have seen all right next explain the process of making yarn from fiber see i had given you example of this one uh very simple method uh, try to uh, pull out a cotton uh, fiber after pulling just you go on twisting okay so that method is there here right slowly you twist and pull it apart as a result of that you will obtain yarn all right the another method is hand spindle or else it is by using charaka in this process of spinning what they do here uh, from the mass of cotton wool fibers are drawn out twisted continuously in order to obtain yarn so this is how it is done that is by using this method you can give as example the method of obtaining yarn from fiber from the mass of cotton wool fiber is drawn out and twisted continuously in order to obtain yarn so this ends your this lesson fibers to fabric and this lesson is there for your midterm examination i want you to read out the lesson twice then go through the notes that i had given you to uh, write i hope you followed all the questions that are there in exercise okay all right so once again to revise this lesson you need to know okay what is yarn what is fiber first and then uh, once the yarn is obtained the two main methods that we use in order to obtain fabric right then what is weaving what is knitting you need to know what is spinning right how the cotton uh, yarn is obtained how the jute is uh, jute yarn is obtained all right when you come to history of clothing how it started okay read out last two paragraph you will understand more easy all right then uh, this spinning process also you need to observe got it this is about uh, ever this lesson fiber to fabric in the next uh, video i will give you uh, the a uh, the areas where you have to uh, concentrate in the first as well as second lesson okay thank you